I have made my points on very general terms, friends. I will tell you that I know those who are regularly flesh eaters are coming from some culture, some family, some faith, and that is why they have never applied their mind. And that is what Mr. Trivedi stated. That let's, we are here today. We have gathered here. Let us apply our mind. That not only from religious angle or from our social angle. Because I have seen, I, 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 I don't, I am not afraid to say that many of our Jain friends, when they go to certain gatherings, because they are afraid of the social status, they start eating meat. I don't like that. But then it is for everybody, whether he is a vegetarian or a non-vegetarian. Apply your mind. Try to see from all these angles whether it is permitted or prohibited from our own health point of view, from the national point of view, from the social point of view, from ecological, from environmental, and above all, from compassion point of view. Friends, when nature has created all animals, all humans, all creatures equal, nobody has got right to kill anybody just to satisfy his own pilots. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Zakir Naik to present his talk. Alhamdulillah. Wassalatu wassalam. Ala Rasulillah. Wa ala ali wa sabi ajmain. Amma abad. Auz billahi min ash-shaytani rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Ya ayyuhal lazina amanu. Awfu bil ukud. أُهِلَّتْ لَكُمْ بَهِيمَةُ الْأَنَامِ إِلَّا مَا يُتْلَى عَلَيْكُمْ بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب الشهل صدري ويسر لي أمري وهل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي Respected Mr. Rashmiya Zawiri Mr. Trivedi Dr. Muhammad Naik The respected people on the dais My respected elders and my dear brothers and sisters I welcome all of you with Islamic greetings, Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. May peace, mercy, and blessings of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, Almighty God, be on all of you. The topic of this morning's debate is: Is non-vegetarian food permitted or prohibited for a human being? It is not whether vegetarian food or non-vegetarian food which is healthy. Or which is better? If I prove that an apple is better than a mango, that doesn't mean mango is prohibited. <laughs> this statement is sufficient to end the dialogue for me, but I have to reply. <laughs> Non-vegetarian, by definition, means a person who has food of animal origin. It does not mean a person who does not have vegetarian food. It does not mean a person who does not have vegetables and fruits. Let it be very clear to all of you. A more technical and a scientific word is an omnivorous diet. A person who has many types of food, especially foods of plant and animal origin. Vegetarian as Mr. Rashmi has very rightly said, it doesn't come from the word vegetables. It comes from vegetas, which means full of breath, full of life. He didn't give a better explanation. We can talk about it. And he didn't speak. There are various types of vegetarian. We have fructarian, who only eat fruits and nuts. Then we have the vegans, who don't have any animal products. We have lacto-vegetarian, what I believe Mr. Rashmi has very is. They have milk. We have the over-vegetarians, who have eggs. We have the lacto-over-vegetarian who have egg and milk also. We have the pesco-vegetarian who eat fish. We have semi-vegetarian who also have chicken. This classification is done by the vegetarian society, not by me. And you can name another 20. Time doesn't permit me. I would like to state a quotation by Dr. William T. Jarvis. 